So all the land when we get the revoke inside this Abuja. Now business in carry on the run. You go collect land from Nigerians. Legally acquired land with the sea of oh, everything they hold on. You go snatch her from there, say that they do land grabbing. Then you go find foreigner give them. Then the foreigner will come unshun the land for Billy Billy. And other people go buy them. You wicked your people. Carry their property, give foreigner. Foreigner will consent and consent to you. Business closed. Only in Nigeria. Can only be done by one man. In yes and week. That is what is happening now. Now I go play a video for you. Everyone don't cast They don't. They don't. They don't paint everywhere. Still with evidence. You go see where one lawyer they talk. This alone be say. Eh, uh, I they talk fake news. Say me they call. Are, uh, now lawyer they talk this one. You go yes. He take pieces and drop. And they don't they want to know. On a one go buy that land. You will want buy land here yeah, now because they go call the name of the land. You go hear the location. No try mo. Now probably they carry yourself enter. Uh, Gabeko goes direct now to the video. So I'm going to go here as they take a explainer. The wickedness of the man in Yasin, Wike, in Abuja. Say that Wike be the land grabber, not be developers. Watch this video. Of intelligence, the former director of urban and regional planning in the person of Yahaya Abubakar was even approached to go against the interests of my client. He declined to go against the interests of my client. He said, no, that there is a chart on that land by the urban and regional planning. And after that chart, they found out when they, when I mean they, that is the, the department of urban and regional planning, a department in the FCTA, that the land belongs to our client. And the question is, if there is a correspondence, if there is a such report from the department in the FCTA that the land belongs to my client, where will the Honorable Minister go into the place and demolish it? Where will the Honorable Minister, apart from the demolition of that place, where will the Honorable Minister go and allocate the place to Radcom Nandura Limited. And from our search in the, in the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, we discovered, sadly enough, that all the directors in Radcom Nandura Limited are all foreigners. There is no single Nigerian in the directorship of Radcom Nandura Limited. And our question is, where will the Honorable Minister leave Nigerians and start to favor foreigners when Nigerians have already invested billions of naira in that place. When Nigerians are already residents in that place. Payments were made. We came with receipts of payments made to ages in respect of Savon Lube. The documents are here. We now want to find out from the minister where did he not conduct or do due diligence before calling genuine owners of that place land grabbers. The honorable minister is the land grabber. Now, what will shock you from intelligence is that the same property which was allotted to Radcom Nigeria Limited, they have now placed it on sale for 30 billion naira. And one of my clients had been approached to buy the same property at 30 billion naira. As we speak today, that property is now up for sale. If any of you have 30 billion naira, you can acquire that Savon Lube that is in this put for 30 billion naira. As we speak today, my client has bargained for 10 billion naira and they said he can't go for 10 billion naira. It is at 30 billion naira. So why would the Honorable Minister, because of making 30 billion naira, go and demolish a place? That had been invested that, 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 that my client had invested over 200 billion naira in in, 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 in in developing the area just for 30 billion. Naira. Are you saying it? You collect the land, they get certificate. Too. You can't give foreigner, 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 now put the land on sale for 30 billion naira. 
Now the owner say, may they even find out whether that's true or not be true because they come here, keep people say they want to send the land. Then they come back in for 10 billion. They say no. They're not gonna sell for 10 billion, they're not 30 billion. So they have confirmed their evidence that, that land is on sale. Hey! Property in them, mother. When I hear that man talk, see, people the way get that land, they have invested over 200 billion in that land. Only for one emperor to come and take it out from there, give it to a foreigner to sell for 30 billion. Because what is the correlation between 200 billion and 30 billion? People's property. A good man. Tinubu. Afa. Tinubu is in dodging week. Let us not lie. I don't know whether these two they took blood covenant. I don't know. I don't know. Because how can you as a responsible government, your people are crying. Crying on a minister that you put in place to minister your minister. <laughs> To minister your jurisdiction, to minister FCT. Because normally, now you be the governor of FCT, that's why you come person to help you minister the FCT. And the person come, they kill the people that you are governing over. And they are calling you, calling, calling, crying. Remove this man, remove this man, this man want to kill us. You say, no, no, no. You go there, you go there, you go there. He's walking, he's walking. Eh? How responsible, how irresponsible can you be? So you take people's land to auction it, sell it off. For 30 billion. Uh -huh, you hear the name of the land. Something Lube. You won't buy land and they call it. Hey, Organo oh, go there. Your, your money go loss. That land is under litigation. Have you, uh, it's in court. Mm -hmm. Jidekwe Gogi. They don't want you now. Jidekwe Gogi. Don't go and throw away your money. If you buy any land. we near that place. Where they even cover you. Run. If I need to we near that place. Run. That is the man he has in the week. When he's telling you, I better deliver. I grab it. He is the one grabbing the land. He got the journey age. So when they sell it off now for thirty billion, they go like again. How much do you give up? Because that one where now you deal with your people, carry their land, give foreigner, foreigner put them up for sale to sell it back to your people and make good money. Is that not wickedness of the highest order? I go see you now later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocin Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.